I had a thought. I wanted to broaden my horizons. I wanted to try something new. Play something I've never played before. And on the popular releases list, a little game called The Hunter Primal seems like it was going to scratch that itch. Fresh out of early stages of development, I thought to myself, this is going to be a polished game with the bugs worked out, and if I didn't like it, it would solely be because I didn't like the genre with no direct fault of the game. I thought I'd be spending $25 on something of quality. F*** was I wrong. I guess I'll begin with the basic premise of the game. So you're supposed to be some dude marooned on a planet where dinosaurs exist. Your sole objective is survival. Well, that's one red flag right there. I don't like survival games, especially survival games without a naturally depleting health bar that you're required to restore through food or other things required for basic human survival. If the goal in this game is to survive, then get yourself on a ledge off a mountain where the dinosaurs can't get to you. Congratulations, you're not dying. Go make yourself a sandwich and bask in the fruits of your laborious journey to find a ledge off of a mountain. But other players can get to you, right? We'll go in single player then and find said ledge. You have successfully defeated the single player campaign. Now what if you do go running around, get a lot of gear, and become nigh invincible? Well, what's the point? Your health bar won't deplete unless attacked, so there's no incentive to go out and put yourself at risk for a health canister. So where's the challenge? How do we know when we have completed the game? See what I'm getting at when I say I don't like these types of survival games? But I concede, me not liking survival games is not a fault on this turd. So let's say you go out exploring because you aren't content to stay eternally on the side of a mountain. The game gives you a GPS thingy which acts as a map and a dinosaur crap analyzer. It picks out the location of crates which hold more things around for you to play with. Simple enough. When you get said gear, you're taken to another screen showing only the loot and, and then only your inventory. You can also maximize the GPS to show only the map. If you're like me, you probably thought to yourself, alright, the game is paused now so I can take my time. Well, wrong. Now, I'm not against games not giving us a break when it's used effectively. Key phrase, used effectively. It is not used effectively when I'm completely blind to my surroundings and a T-Rex can ninja his way up to me and enjoy a tasty meal. You can hear the raptors, you can hear the pterodactyls, but for some reason a giant two-ton lizard can walk gracefully past the fields and nibble at your heels. If we're going to be vulnerable while scouring through inventories, I don't think it's too much to ask for a transparent overlay. You know, so we can see this sort of shit coming. Kind of like how RE5 did it. There is a multiplayer aspect to the game. Now, what is it like, you may ask? Couldn't tell you. I tried making a private game and inviting a couple of friends through Steam and it wouldn't let them in. I then tried joining random games, but again, I couldn't get in. Did I go through every venue to try and solve this issue? Oh, hell no. The game wasn't worth the effort. Going into the combat, the term unsatisfying immediately comes to mind. When I smack a dinosaur with my machete, I'd like more than just an on-screen text box saying, Good job, you hit it! Maybe like a blood squirt and a sound of impact or something. You know, just something more than just text. There's a random bit of blood on the floor that just kind of appears magically, but that's lame. With your projectile weapons, it gets a little bit better, but not much. The bow and firearms have a nice sense of power behind them, but I have to ask why the bow fires off like a cannon. But even then, the enemies don't seem to notice a chunk of lead smacking them in the face. Just give me something to let me know I hit it. Like how Dead Island would have some knockback and visible damage. Wait, wait. Holy crap. In the span of just these couple ass minutes, I've used Resident Evil 5 and Dead Island, two games the internet hates, as positive examples. What the shit? So was there anything I did like? I liked all the dinosaur crap everywhere. I took it as a subtle visual metaphor about what the game is. I liked the sound certain dinosaurs made. There were more than a couple moments whenever I was wandering around aimlessly and heard a noise in the distance and thought, mm-hmm, I'm not going that way. There was some legitimate tension there. I see a lot of complaining about the flying dinosaurs. I didn't mind them. At least when they killed me, I could see them coming, unlike the Master Ninja T-Rexes. Without a doubt, the most major positive of this game, though, was how it became so bad I didn't spend hours playing it. Instead, I spent those hours playing more Doom and Destiny. In case I haven't made it clear, I don't recommend this game. I'll give Avalanche Studios the benefit of the doubt, though, and assume they just made a bad game instead of scamming everyone on Steam. There aren't any redeeming qualities about this game that come to mind to justify its asking price. If you want a survival game to play with a bunch of other players, you could just play DayZ, or better yet, Minecraft.